Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Philco Films and today we're diving into a brand new episode of Haunted Italy. Our story today starts in a small village in the province of Rimini, Italy, where in the late 14th century, in the village of Montebello, a little girl mysteriously disappeared. Her name was Gwendolina, and she was born to a nobleman and also the landlord of the castle. But you see, when she was born, Gwendolina was different. Something appeared to be very wrong with her. The little girl was born with pale white skin, bleach white hair, and very bright blue eyes. Gwendolina had albinism, which at the time was associated with being a child of the devil. People with albinism in the 14th century were often feared, and especially females ended up being burned at the stake. Her parents couldn't bear this burden, so one day when she was a little girl, her mother attempted to dye her long white hair with herbs. In an attempt to dye it black like the rest of her family, to their dismay, Gwendolina's hair did not hold the dye as they had hoped, and instead it turned into a light blue color, which gave her the nickname that she is known with today, Azzurrina. You see, Azzurina was only five years old when she was bound to the castle by order of her father. This was for her own protection as the dangers that lurked outside of the castle walls were too great for a little girl. And to ensure that she couldn't leave, her father assigned two guards to her to keep an eye at all times. But one night, on June 21st, 1375, Azzurina was playing with a rag ball when it slipped away from her and as she chased her ball down the stairs towards the ice house of the castle, she vanished. The two guards only heard a gut-wrenching scream, and following that, there was just no trace of Azzurina at all. They followed the scream down the stairs to the ice house, no sign of her, no sign of a body, and she wasn't found. Upon her father's return, who was in battle at the time, he did not believe the story of her disappearance as it was told by the guards, so he had them both executed, thinking that they had done something to her. But despite his barbaric punishment, Azzurina was never seen again. Legend has it that Azzurina can still be heard crying, playing, screaming within the castle walls to this day. The disappearance of Azzurina dates back to the summer solstice, which is on June 21st in 1375. People claim that she is most heard and most sighted every five years from her death on that very day. Most of the recordings are cries, screams, but even words can be made out sometimes as she calls out for her mother. Azzurina is still very much alive in the town of Montebello, and she is well known within the area. Unfortunately, the only traceable records of Azzurina date back to the 90s, before which her story was passed down as a myth from generation to generation. So skeptics do have reason to question the truth behind her actual existence. Now why is this year special? Because this year on the summer solstice marks the first year since 2015 that we may be able to get a few more recordings or sightings of her presence in the castle. I do wish we had a little more written evidence of Azzurina's existence, but unfortunately there's nothing at all that dates back to the 14th century. We have nothing at this time to prove or disprove her existence apart from the stories. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this urban legend, whether it's true, whether it's fake. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like down below, subscribe, and press that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. I'm also active on social media, so feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. I'm active on there when I'm not posting on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. My name is Philco Films, and I will see you next time. Ciao.